Shopify POS Lite versus Shopify POS Pro. We're going to be going over the Shopify POS pricing, uh, the features, everything you need to know so you can make an informed decision to see whether Shopify POS Lite or Shopify POS Pro is going to be right for you and we're going to be going through everything you need to know about it. So first and foremost, if you want to go ahead and actually try Shopify POS, whether that's going to be the uh, Lite plan or the uh, pro plan feel free to go through the link down below in the video description and you can actually go ahead and get an extended free trial of Shopify So you can actually try out the uh, POS plans for yourself um, Cool thing to know as well before we even begin today's video is that the Shopify uh, POS starter slash light plan um, is gonna be included with every Shopify plan in general So that's a cool little thing basically because it's pretty much included um, and it's bundled in with like every Shopify plan, so which means that there's no extra like charges for using uh, Shopify POS Lite. So that's like a pro right off the bat. Um, so again, feel free to go through the link down below, and that will give you the best deal. And you know, allow you to get a free trial um, for the longest period po uh, possible to try out the uh, not only Shopify but Shopify POS, um, whether that's Lite. Um, um, you know, you can also try out Shopify uh, POS Pro as well. So it's gonna be for the link down below uh, in the video description and in the pinned comment section down below for your Covidian. So in terms of going over like the difference between Shopify POS Lite and Shopify POS Pro, the big difference is it's gonna be like depending like what you actually do. So for example, if you're someone who you mainly sells online, but you occasionally sell in person, then the Shopify POS Lite plan is probably gonna be a better option for you. Because unless you sell you at a point of sale, you know, pretty quickly like it's pretty simple to do and it's very very cheap to do as well and like I said it's bundled in with like every Shopify plan in general like the normal standard Shopify plan so there's no like extra charges for it as well so it's great for like someone who started out and who just occasionally sells you know in person sometimes so the Shopify POS Pro right here this is gonna be great if you're a retail type of business that has multiple locations so this is Going to be great if you're in that position so it's geared towards retail businesses and again stores with like multiple locations which again isn't probably going to be necessary with for someone who has like who's starting out or only sells like a little bit occasionally like in person so you know it's not going to be necessary for that type of person right or for that type of business um but with pos life for example if you just want to quickly accept like payments in like one location and you know, then you know, POS Lite is probably going to be more of a better option to start off with. Um, and you know, all you need is like a card reader and your phone to essentially get started with POS Lite um, in comparison to POS Pro. Well, that being said, like you know, POS Lite is honestly very limited um, compared to POS Pro. So you will feel the limitations, you know, especially as you you're growing you'll feel the pain and you'll probably want to move to pos pro um, as you're growing your business especially if you're like having like multiple vacations as a retail business um it's definitely um something you'd probably want to you know look into um as you move into that next um step in your um journey and your growth because you're going to be able to scale like a lot more faster with pos pro if you're also looking to manage like a lot of staff members and like what permissions they have like access to for example um even like when it comes to like you know managing your customers and offering like discounts and just like you know building up customer loyalty um again the pos light is going to be heavily restricted and this is where you're definitely going to need to go with pos pro it's going to be a lot more better in the long run you have like a lot more um in terms of like what you can do so again pos pro in my personal opinion is going to be great if you're a business who's committed to in-person selling if you're regularly selling like a large number of products and you're at a permanent or you know temporary even like a temporary like retail location you know then pos pro is probably going to be more ideal for you and again you know if, if you have like stores with multiple staff members and you know needs beyond making sales then you know pos pro is going to allow you to like manage and make this a lot more easier process for you to go ahead and do that efficiently right um, and then like POS Lite, like I was saying before, it's going to be great if you're just trying in-person in selling for the first time and you occasionally sell a small selection of products from your online store in person. And, you know, if you're, you know, basically not having like no in-person staff members and, you know, anything like that, then, you know, the light, you know, POS Lite might be, you know, more than enough in the meantime. Um, but like, you know, with the, with the features, like some of the key features that are, you know, in the plan, for example, in the POS Pro, like the design to give merchants like value beyond checkout, right? 
um, you know, give you choice and custom customizability. Uh, I think a important part as well when it comes to like growing repeat business is building up customer loyalty as well. So this is where POS Pro really comes in because you can grow your customer loyalty and revenue with some of the features inside of POS Pro for Shopify. Of course, you can scale operations and help staff sell as well. You can analyze your growth and sales much more, you know, better and efficiently um, and to make better business decisions for your business. Uh, you know, of course, you're going to be able to scale a lot more faster if you're opening up uh, multiple locations. And this is where POS Pro is going to be very important to go ahead and do that. I do believe you have to have to pay an extra a monthly amount for like each location. The price used to be like $89. Apparently it's saying like 60 USD now. This is their special offer. Um, but you have to, I believe you have to pay that for like every, sing, every single location. So it does that up. But of course, like if you're running like, you know, a multi-retail type of business with multiple stores, you know, it's going to be a small overhead in the grand scheme of things. And it's going to allow you to, you know, maximize your return on investment in terms of like building a customer loyalty and managing all the other little nitty gritties of running a uh, retail business, right? So yeah, again, it's, Basically, you know, the POS Pro is going to be great if you, you know, as a business are committed to in-person selling and, you know, have a multi-channel selling approach, right? Um, and, you know, the, the Shopify POS Lite is a great way for, you know, someone to quickly and cheaply accept payments in person if they do it occasionally, you know, and, you know, it's a good start. So, you know, there's no right or wrong plan, really. It's going to be completely up to you and your own situation and needs, right? Um, but yeah, I just wanted to essentially make a quick video going over the difference between Shopify POS uh, Lite and Shopify POS Pro. Um, and again, both of these plans will allow you to essentially get started selling in person anyway. But yeah, you know, as you grow your business, you can decide whether or not the Shopify POS Pro is going to be right for you. Um, so again, if you want a free trial or you want to try out the uh, Shopify POS plans or anything like that, I'll provide a link down below, um, in, not only in the video description, but in the pinned comment section down below this video for your convenience as well. You can go ahead and go through that link to get an extended free trial and to get, you know, extended time trying out Shopify and their POS plans and all that type of stuff. Um, so you can even like try a Shopify POS Lite to begin with, you know, that comes with like every standard Shopify plan. So you can just go ahead and sign up. You need to sign up for a Shopify um, account anyway before you go ahead and do that with the POS stuff so just go for the link down below for that and then you know if you're using the Shopify POS Lite and you're like oh this is very heavily restricted or it's limited then you can just upgrade the Shopify POS Pro and you know go ahead and just continue using that basically so yeah that's basically it so thanks for watching today's Shopify POS Lite versus Shopify POS Pro uh, video and we also obviously went over the pricing so yeah thanks for watching today's Shopify POS Pro versus Lite uh, tutorial video.